I'm about to interview the owner and driver of this monster truck. I'm sitting in the driver's seat of a monster truck. So Clive, what can we expect to see at the show tonight? Hopefully lots of carnage. Hey guys, V Snappy here. I'm with Clive Featherby, the owner of Monster Truck Promotions Australia. Clive has also owned 12 monster trucks at one point, and he can do anywhere up to 60 shows per year. Hey, how are you, Clive? How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Not too bad, nice day today. Yeah, not only are you a promoter and owner of the company, you put your money where your mouth is. You get in the truck and you rock it. Yeah, we try to. We've been trying to rock them now for the last 30 years, which is a long time, yeah. but all over the world. So now wow. we love being here at Coffs Harbour and can't wait yeah. for a great show this weekend. Tell us about Outback Thunder. He's the most famous monster truck you got. Yeah, he is fairly well known. He's been around now for, like I said, almost 30 years. And this one we got here this weekend, he's version number six. He's fairly unique. It's yeah. one of the few monster trucks in the world that's actually got two seats in the back with oh, race seats awesome. so we can actually take people in the back of this one and launch them over the cars with us uh, but it Whoa. does knock them around a little bit uh, yeah you bring a whole team of people with you surely someone has to be a chiropractor yeah we wish there was one actually even at the moment i've got a pinched nerve in my shoulder so i've got no feeling on this oh. side from uh from last last week's show at newcastle you do get knocked around yeah. a hell of a lot in the trucks so this is an expensive sport how much is your best monster truck to build Outback Thunder's our best one by far, yeah. and of course it's about $300,000 for that one yeah, with all the latest gear. We're building another yeah. new Thunder right now in Ogden in USA, oh, and wow. it'll be over 300000 But oh, wow. yeah. they've got so many specialist parts on them nowadays to try and make them to where you can do big jumps and keep going week after week. In the old days, you used to crawl over and um, <laughs> just drive over the cars and yeah. crush them. We don't even crush cars anymore now. We launch over the top of them. So everything in the truck is better, the suspension now. Uh, when you come bouncing down, you don't even feel it. You must feel more coming over a speed bump than what we do launching off the cars. So so they're fairly cool things now and big fast yeah. motors. They can go up to about 160 kilometers now. Oh, whoa. Super powerful, 1600 horsepower. Over the weekend show, how much fuel would you go through? Um, fuel's actually not the dear thing with monster trucks because it's methanol. Oh. We're not running petrol. It's only about a dollar twenty a litre. We'll go yeah. through about four hundred litres between uh, between the trucks this weekend. So fuel prices are expensive at the moment. Wouldn't I be better off buying one of the monster trucks and driving them down the road? Well, there's where the problem comes in. See, <laughs> yeah. now methanol is cheaper, but they've got a seventy-five litre tank on the back of a monster truck, much like a car. Yeah. And guess what? We use all that fuel in about four or five minutes. None of them can really go more than about five or six minutes tops. Yeah. And uh, then they're out of fuel. They're overheating by then as well, because obviously they're running really high compression motors and all this. So yeah, about six minutes is the top for any monster truck in the world. Come up here, it's amazing. Uh, I can't see anything. I can't imagine being a monster truck driver right now. So Clive, what can we expect to see at the show tonight? Well, obviously cool monster truck action, hopefully lots of carnage, a uh, bit of mud around, so monster trucks love mud. So yeah. got this insane jet car as well. It's the um, it's Australia's biggest uh, motor jet engine, so it's the one that'll use 400 litres of fuel and Jet A1 in about five minutes. It's very what? thirsty. So it's got a real fighter jet engine in the back, which will drive oh. that as well. Big fireworks display? We're a fireworks company, KC Fireworks, yeah. so if we don't do big, it'll be embarrassing, won't it? No, yeah. it'll be big, it'll be full on. I've been given exclusive permission from the owner to climb up inside to the driver's seat. Look at this. The tyres are so big, you can even go inside them. Let's go. I'm sitting in the driver's seat of a monster truck. It's a really tight seat, but it's got to be so they don't fall out. This is what we've got down here at the pedals, a brake and an accelerator. It's all pretty basic, but the power, it's phenomenal. So I'm excited about the show in Coffs Harbour tonight. So Clive, where will we find you and where will you be next? Rightio, uh, me and my team over here, we're off um, after here. Our next show is in Perth. Yep. Come here, Charlie. And uh, so 
Our next show is in Perth uh, on the 22nd of October. And then after that, we're heading Bunbury and all them places in WA. Then and straight after Christmas, we go back and we go to New Zealand, do six shows over there, oh, starting nice. in Auckland, uh, Rotorua. Oh. And then we go to Saudi Arabia, United Arab, and then back to Ogden in Utah to run another show there. So we don't just do Australia, we do all over the, yeah, literally all over the yeah. world nowadays. I never thought I would ever meet one of the biggest monster truck promoters in the world. So it was like, nice meeting you, Clive. It's been lovely meeting you, and I hope you keep up the good work you're doing right now. Yeah. You're a credit to it. Thank you. If you like this video, make sure you go check out this video right here, because I'm sure you'll like it. Be snappy out.